In lab two, we are going to be using a program called Scratch to learn about how to think about programming. What are some of the semantic things we have to do when we make a program? Our task today is to get Scratch, this cat over here, to walk down a flight of stairs. Now we can pick up Scratch and move it around and try to get Scratch to listen to us. Like most cats, Scratch won't listen, but we want it to walk down a flight of stairs. And we want it to draw that flight of stairs for us as well. On the left-hand side of the screen, you'll notice there are lots of options for what we can do. The first one we'll look at is motion. I would like to move Scratch 10 steps forward. So I drag this piece over, and then if I click on that piece, Scratch will do that command. Click it again, Scratch will do that command again. And I'm able to change this from 10 steps to 40 steps. And now Scratch moves even more when I do that. Okay, so this is our first step. We want Scratch to walk along, and then we want Scratch to start walking down the stairs. How can we get Scratch to walk down the stairs? We need to turn. So if Scratch is walking in this direction, and you can always see what direction Scratch is going by looking up here at Scratch, this blue line indicates the direction Scratch is going, we are going to turn 15 degrees. He's now rotated, but we wanted him to go down the stairs instead of falling down the stairs. So instead, we should have been turning 90 degrees. But Scratch, when we clicked on it again, it still tilted that first 15 degrees. If we want to reset Scratch, we go up here to where we saw the angle of what it's headed, double click, resets him to be pointing in a easterly direction. So let's start off again. If we move forward 40 steps and then turn 90 degrees, he'll be headed south. Once he turns 90 degrees, let's move some more steps and after he has moved 10 steps, we're going to have to turn him back 90 degrees to go the other portion of the step. Let's reset and watch what Scratch does. Now that was really quick. We can't really see what's going on with Scratch. He moves a little too fast, just like most cats. So there's another way over here to watch what happens. There's the pen option we're going to clear all of the pen actions and then at the beginning of what we do we're going to say pen down and you notice I've been snapping these together which makes them all one action And when we're done scratch will pick the pen up with these extra pieces we can watch what scratch does let's move him out of the way this is the picture it drew move 40 steps turn 90 degrees, move 10 steps, turn 90 degrees. It's ready to keep going the other way. And we can reset. Do it again. From wherever we are, Scratch will perform those commands. Well, let's complete a couple more of those steps for going downstairs. We moved 40, turned 90, moved 10, turn 90 back, We're going to have to do a little bit of repetition here. Turn 90 degrees, move 10 steps, turn back 90 degrees. Move 10 steps, turn 90 degrees, turn back. After we've moved 10 steps, turn back 90 degrees. And then just to finish things off, let's move another 40 steps at the end of this process. And here, let's pick up Scratch and watch what happens when we run this program, this script for Scratch. Hooray! It did what we wanted. Scratch moves along, moves down the stairs, and then keeps on going. There was a lot of repetition that we did when we wrote this program. We had to turn 90 to the right, move 10 steps, turn 90 to the left, move 10 steps. And then we did the same process again. The same process. 
let's figure out another way to help out our program. There is a control tab on the left hand side and the control tab has a repeat block. Now let's look at our code and figure out what we want to repeat. We want to repeat turning right, moving down, and turning left, and moving forward. Turning right, moving down, turning left, moving forward. Turning right, moving down, turning left, moving forward. This is the steps that we want to repeat. Let me indicate those by dragging them out. These are the blocks that make him go down one step. We can repeat those steps as many times as we want to. And I'm going to delete the rest of these steps, just move them out of the way, and tack this back into our program. We have an extra number here. Instead of just repeating it three times, like we did before, and recreating the exact same piece, we could change it so Scratch does it six times. And now there are six steps that Scratch went down. We could do it 17 times. Start them up here in the upper left so we can see what happens. 17 steps, Scratch goes down. Very basic pieces of code, telling it to move and turn with commands, and then telling it to repeat a certain part of that code gives us a flexible solution to type in a number or two and watch what happens with Scratch.